Zero is on Watcher's Grave on Nessus, and he is currently selling Arbalist, which is pretty good. I will say the reason I, I'm going to tell you to pick it up is because it's a linear fusion rifle that takes special ammo. So if you're doing bounties, this is going to be something you're going to be going to you're going to want to use because again, it takes special, not heavy. So you'll be able to kill a lot of bounties much faster. Not only that, but the intrinsic perk is compound compounding force fire slugs that cause massive damage to elemental shields of enemy combatants. And it pairs well with disruption break. Breaking an enemy shield with this weapon makes it more vulnerable to kinetic damage for a period of, uh, for a brief period. I think it's worth it. It's like I will always say e each exotic is worth it just to have it, just in case you might never know. They might get buffed. They might get whatever. So I will always recommend you to get the exotic weapon when you can, because just in case something gets buffed, you will have it in your collections. So. Next one is going to be Orpheus Rig. Orpheus Rig's got nerfed three times now, if I remember correctly. The stat rotation is okay. I would much prefer something like Mobility, Recovery, Intellect, or Mobility, Resilience, and Recovery. But if I'm being honest, you probably will never use this in PvP unless you're using Mobius Quiver. And if you're using Mobius Quiver in PvP, you're fucking wild. So let's look at the actual perk. Provides ability energy for each enemy tethered by Deadfall Anchors. Mobius Quiver has more shots. So Deadfall is the one that's a single shot that is basically trapping everyone. You get basically you get super energy from each tether that you get. And then Mobius Quiver just gets more shots added to it. Again, uh, if this if the stat rotation was a little bit better, I would tell you to pick it up. I would probably I would personally tell you just pick it up just in case, like again, just have it in your collections. But if you already have this in your collections, you can skip this. I think the stat rotation is terrible. So Next up is Lion's Rampart, provides additional aerial maneuverability and enables accurate hit fire while you're in the air during lift. So this one's really good with weapons like uh, Dead Man Tell, Dead Man Tell the, the Scout Rifle from this season. That one's going to be really good with this, especially if you have the catalyst for it. This last word with this is going to be really gross. The Cabal Scout Rifle is going to be really gross because it actually tracks when you hit fire. So. It, I, this one's really good. Even if you just pick it up because you're really bad at jumping mechanics, this is going to be really good. The stats are not that great, but you are essentially getting one to each of the each of the nodes. So there is that. I just much prefer like resilience and recovery for titans, and then discipline, intellect, or strength for either or. Like I just. I don't know if you don't have one i would tell you to pick it up but if you already have one you can skip this i think the stat rotation is not the best and then last but not least aeon soul they did get a buff this season if i remember correctly so i will recommend you to get this just to have it because again they did get this buff that apparently is really good i just i have not played to really tell you whether it's good or bad the stat rotation is pretty terrible again for Warlock specifically, you're definitely going to want something with high recovery and discipline and intellect. Strength, you could probably like ignore, but intellect, discipline and, and recovery is going to be the ones that you really want to go to. So this week, I don't I don't think uh, Zura has given, given us anything with stats that are worth it. I think all of these are pretty terrible. But again, if you don't have any of these, then I suggest just pick it up, just to have it in your collections. And obviously, we're going to pick up this. We're on my hunter, so let's see if I get... Dude, that's like my fifth fucking knucklehead radar. Although the stats, stats are not terrible. Uh, they're pretty decent. I like them. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, I'll link in the description below. Thank you, everyone, and I'll see you guys later.